Libra, happy belated Valentine's Day. I could never forget you. Your scales of justice and fairness, that's what make you who you are. I wrote a song for you. You want to hear it? Here it go. Libra, this will be your reading <laughs> from February the 18th through March the 1st. Before I get started, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you, my new subscribers. Welcome, and thank you so much for subscribing. So, family, thank you for the emails, the comments, the likes, the dislikes. It's all energy. And thank you so much for sharing your personal comments because it helps to heal others, others who are going through the same situations, similar situations and those who will be coming up behind the energy. Libra, if you are in the market for new things, new relationships, new homes, new automobiles, new careers, new jobs, new businesses, we have a full moon coming up in the sign of Virgo on the 27th. So this is the time to drop toxicity from the mind, body, and soul. This is your time to release karmic situations, situationships. Vices, places, people, things, all those things that hinder you from your true life purpose, all those things that put roadblocks in front of you, right? So that you stay stuck and stagnant. Libra, this won't uh, resonate with everyone, so maybe 5%, maybe 1%, maybe this will be just for one or two people. Whoever is meant to hear it the most, continue to check your moon sign. Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, all the areas in the natal birth chart that make up who you are. So Libra, I have already set my intentions and I have already set my prayer off camera. I'm going to bring you all down. Let's get into your pre-shuffle. Libra, I hope you're staying focused. <laughs> staying focused on your breath, meditation, yoga, exercise, biking, hiking, singing, dancing, working out, walking. So when I cut the deck, I have the Nine of Wands in the reverse, Libra, and the Three of Swords. Hmm. So someone who betrayed you, gossip, lied, stole from you. Heartache, who have given you nothing but grief. I think you cut them out, but it's almost like you're still looking back, thinking they're going to come back and apologize. And the divine is saying to let them go. I cut the deck again. We have the lovers in the reverse uh, with the eight of swords in the reverse. Hmm. Of course, this is a choice between two or more. It's almost like this person was full of chaos, confusion, heartache, lies, deception, but the passion was there. And for some of you, this was a karmic lesson. Let's cut the deck. Oh, I said Leo. Some of you might be doing with the Leo. Uh, I just did Leo reading also. But Libra, your focus. The Seven of Wands. Hmm. You also have... Five of Swords in reverse. You also have... The Two of Swords in the upright. You also have... King of Wands in the upright. You also have that nine of wands again in the reverse. 
You also have the Knight of Swords in the upright. And you also have the Three of Swords is back in the upright. Hmm. Bear with me, Libra. All right, so let's see. Libra, your focus, I think that looks good, is the Seven of Wands. Now we know with the Seven of Wands, this is usually in the Rider Waite, someone who stands on top of a hill or a mountain, and they are protecting their foundation. They are guarding what's most important to them, whether it's your foundation, whether it's your heart, <laughs> whether it's your pentacles, uh, whether it's a relationship, uh, but it's triumph triumphing uh, against all odds and in the reverse. Hmm. Some type of indecision, even hesitation that results in loss. Not guarding what was near and dear to you. Allowing others in your circle and foundation who had no right to be there. And you also have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. On the upright, the Five of Swords, it's chaos. It's betrayal, it's lies, it's deception, it's stealing, it's cheating. It's what's done in the dark comes to light. And as you can see, this couple have been caught. And in the reverse, it is the fallout or the karma from that exposure. And you also have two of swords in the upright. This is having to make a decision. Do I choose the fruitful side that has all the flowers, vibrant blue, I do not choose the other side that is scarcity and has no foundation, maybe not even any money. And you also have the King of Wands and the Upright. Well, you know, this could also be the King because the King of the Queen, they're very fiery, very passionate, very outgoing, has a love of life, and of course, a love of other cultures. <laughs> and very into activities and traveling and adventure. And usually the king or queen uh, wands are able to manifest anything out of, nothing out of something. Nothing from nothing to something. <laughs> and you also have the nine of wands in the reverse. On the upright, well, the nine of wands, this is the wounded warrior and the rider weight, but in this deck, this is Someone who is very fertile, very abundant, and they just cut away what no longer serves them. And in the reverse, hmm. this is perhaps letting your guards down, but maybe not to the right people. Maybe being a little too open. And you also have the Knight of Swords. This is someone who has a lot to say. As you can see, they're gonna pull this sword out so that they can come in and hopefully speak their truth. The thing is, what do they have to speak about? And you also have three of swords in the upright. Well, we know this is betrayal, manipulation, lies, deception. This is those that are close to you who are able to put the knife in your back even deeper over and over and over again. Libra on the board, we have wands. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have swords. Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And that's it. We have fire, we have air. We have no cups, so there's no romance here, no love here, no passion here, and we have no pentacles. So there is no money being exchanged, no money that will be 
built together. And if there was pentacles, they were frivolously uh, thrown away on karmic situations because nothing is being built here. Libra, I do believe you are this king or queen of wands. This king or the queen of wands, they're pointing to their foundation. They're pointing to being careful who you allow in your circle in your energy, in your home, in your automobile, in your business. This was in the reverse. For some of you, there is perhaps an air sign that is not had your best interest. Maybe another Libra or Ari Aquarius or Gemini. This person perhaps even involved you in a third party situation because there's darkness here. Or maybe this person had you Libra as a secret. The thing is something has been exposed, whether you know this or not Libra. <laughs> and this person, they were dealing with two different people. not willing to make a decision. Uh, matter of fact, Libra, this person will not make a decision. Uh, this is the type of person who likes their cake and eat it too. This is the kind of person who only deals with things when they are exposed or brought to the surface. Again, I'm talking to a Libra who has let down their defenses. Talking to a Libra who is no longer guarding their foundation. This person perhaps has already betrayed you, but this king or queen of wands is letting you know to protect your foundation. Oops. Protect your foundation. If you're going to allow this person back into your circle, at least, Libra, put your guards up. Put your guards up. Protect your foundation. Look at all this red. This is you. Vibing high. Solid, abundant. Beautiful, handsome standing strong within your foundation, and this is them. Doing things in the dark, keeping you as a third or fourth or maybe even a fifth party, keeping you as a secret, something has been exposed. Maybe Libra, you are the one who exposed this person, but they wanna come back. They know that you have a weakness for them, which is why they think they can come back. And they have something to say. The thing is, this is who they really are. And this is who they have always been. Libra, this is the type of person who has never been committed in a marriage, has never been committed in a romantic partnership, has probably never even been upfront, honest with integrity, even in business. And that's why the 
King of Wands is saying, protect your foundation. Protect your energy. Protect your pentacles. Protect your heart. Protect your mind. Because this person is only coming back because this is how you look to them. Yes. You're so vibrant, vibrating high, so abundant. And this person feels that you have a weak spot for them. Even after they put you in a third, fourth, or fifth party situation. Even after they gossiped about you, lied about you, backstabbed you. Maybe even stole from you, even maybe destroyed your name in the street. Now they had to swallow their words or swallow their sword, but they're going to slowly pull this out to come back. They're coming back as a knight. This person is coming back because they need something. After they betrayed you, lied, put you into a third party situation, they're coming back because you're abundant and vibrant. And they probably need money. They probably need a place to stay. They probably need some help in some type of business venture. And you're going to hear them out because you're in the reverse for the wounded warrior. It's almost like you're going to hear this person out. But remember, to protect your pentacles, protect your foundation. Matter of fact, this person probably shouldn't even come inside your house, Libra, inside your energy, inside your car. This is the type of person that you meet out in public places so that when they're done speaking their maybe truth or maybe their lies and deception, well, you can get in your car and you can leave. All right? This was, will not resonate for every Libra, but this is for someone who has allowed the enemy into their home, into their life, and who has laid down into a relationship or a situationship with the enemy. But you are the king or the queen of wands. You know who you are. You have self-love, self-respect, self-worth. You may be lonely during the pandemic, but remember your spirit guides, your ancestral line, your guardian angels are always around you. The divine is always there. All you have to do is call on them and stay busy. Stay busy on your goals. Create something with your hands. Go for walks, start meditation, yoga, biking. Things to keep your mind on the goal and positivity. Things that keep your vibration high. We have truth. And let's get one more. the attitude of gratitude for being a student of life and a teacher to others willing and wanting to listen. Exactly. You have a life story, Libra. You've been through the most <laughs> positive, negative, good relationships, bad relationships, and you're still upright as a king or queen of wands, fiery, passionate, able to manifest, looking handsome, looking beautiful, looking healthy, even during a pandemic. I have the attitude of gratitude for being a student of life and a teacher to others willing and wanting to listen. And you have one more, truth. It says, tell the truth 
Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. And that's what happened when the king or the queens are in the upright or the empress or the emperor. They're about their truth. They're about standing in their power. They don't cower and they don't hide in the shadows and they don't allow people to make them into third parties and keep them in the dark or keep them a secret. And if you do, you eventually cut those type of people out because they were never on your level to begin with. Not when you're vibrating this high. Tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. Libra. This is your reading from February the 18th through March the 1st. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course comment. And Libra, no matter what is going on around you, what you hear, it is very important to stay in control of your mind, your body, and your soul. Thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And from one soul to another soul. I love you soul family. Have a good week.